Hey folks, do you got a minute to talk about our Lord and Savior, capitalism? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, today I wanted to talk to you all about minimum wage or Mindestlohn, as they call it in Germany. Now, if you're new here, I feel it's important to explain that I'm just some silly American that moved to Germany in 2001. I babble about that and a bunch of other stuff here on my channel. I try to sort out the topics by playlists, so check them out if you're curious. A big welcome back and a whole lot of love to my returning viewers and subscribers. And of course, my beloved members. Long story short, I come from, let's say, a lower to middle class background in a middle of nowhere town in Pennsylvania, America. I am not college educated, nor do I hold any degrees. In the country I'm from, America, or the country I moved to, Germany. And pretty much what that means is I have often been faced with minimum wage jobs in both places. And I gotta say, before I even get into the details, within my first year of living in Germany, I saw a stark contrast to what it's like to be a minimum wage worker in America compared to Germany. I mean, don't get me wrong, every minimum wage job I ever worked in America, I knew it was shit, but quite honestly, I didn't realize just how bad it was, just how evil it was, until I moved to Germany and saw how they treat people here. I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself, so let's get into the important details first. Now, the numbers I'm going to present with you today, you can look up on your own. They can be found, um, well, an easy to view website to look at this kind of data would be Wikipedia, but more reliable, I also went to the American government website and also for Germany, the Bundesregierung, official websites. But as I already stated, I have quite a few opinions based on my own experience I'm going to throw at you as well. Also, my research showed me that there's plenty of lands that are better and worse than the two lands I've decided to discuss today. So feel free to let me know how it works in your country down below in a comment. I'm definitely curious. Something I found really interesting that I did not know before researching for this video was that here in Germany, they actually implemented a permanent commission in regards to this topic. A minimum wage commission, which is made up of nine members, a president, three workers' representatives, three employers' representatives, and two economist advisors who have no voting right in the commission. They assess Germany's um, overall economic performance and find what they consider an, uh, a suitable minimum wage level. So that's how they're figuring it out here in Germany, how they're making their decisions on this. But then I started to look at like how it's done in the country I'm from, in America. And I'm telling you, you really got to do a whole lot of reading to really understand what's going on over there. Like, you'll find really quickly there is a federal minimum wage. However, there's some states that are, you know, doing their own thing for a variety of reasons. Some of those are good things, but some of them are horrifying. So let's just start with what the federal government says, the federal minimum wage. So it's time for me to mix some of my opinions in with the facts. There is no other way to say it. I mean, for me, for me, it's pretty shameful that the minimum wage in America, the federal minimum wage in America since 2009 has been at $7.25 since 2009. Sure, there are some states which are paying more, but there's a handful that get away with paying less for a variety of reasons. I highly recommend, if you're curious about this topic, going to the minimum wage in the United States section on Wikipedia. They lay out the data well, as well as the uh, effects it has on the people. Economic effects, employment effects, effects on crime, poverty, and income inequality. Paying people a minimum wage has quite a few effects on society, and in America, you can actually see it pretty clearly. Meanwhile, over here in Germany, their little minimum wage commission have been busy little beavers. 
You see, as of January 2021, the Mindestlohn here in Germany was €9.50. And at July 2021, it's going to go up to 960 as planned right now. And as planned right now by this little commission, in January 2022, it's going to go up to €982, Euros, remember. And July 2022, 10.45. You see? Now, I know I have viewers from both America and from Germany and a couple other countries in between. So you might be wondering, like, how much is that? So to break it into two currencies, just so everybody really has a, a clear view as to what we're talking about here. So this 725 minimum wage in America, in Europe, would be equivalent to approximately 5 euros and 97 cents. If you're a German, let me know in the comments if you would go to work for five euros and 97 cents an hour, plus no health care vacation days. And this nine euro 50 that we get as a Mindestlohn minimum wage here in Germany, translated to dollars right now is approximately $11 and 54 cents. So now that you have a clear view on the basic numbers, the basic minimum wage federally ordered by the government, Anything less would be illegal. It's important to mention that there's one fine detail here that I find extra appalling. And that comes down to jobs where tipping is involved. Classically speaking, you know, like a waiter or a waitress. It's important to mention that here in Germany, minimum wage is minimum wage. They have a commission who figured out what is fair. So here in Germany, if you work a job that allows tips, that minimum wage doesn't change. It stays at €9.50. Euros. But if you're in America, some sleazebag companies, which would be, yeah, a whole lot in the fast food restaurant industry, they can get away with paying their employees as low as $2.13. $2.13. $2.13 an hour is around €1.75 an hour. Again, I'm curious, any German that may be watching this video, would you work as a waiter or a waitress for one seventy-five an hour? I know some of my European viewers are watching this and probably not believing it, and I'm here to tell you I lived it. I was in a small town, worked at a pizza shop, cafe, restaurant type thing, and I took home paychecks for like 10 bucks after a month's work, and I was lucky some weeks to make 10 bucks in tips. But you can bet your butt that I was running my ass off, my feet hurt, my back hurt, and I took a whole lot of crap from miserable humans that exist in the world and treat workers like that like crap. So to my European viewers who may be skeptical and, and not believe these numbers, I'm telling you, this, this is really going on, and I know people that are living and working from that wage. Generally, people that have those types of jobs, it's like their second or third job. Which leads me to the next thing that I researched. Like I was thinking like an average work week. What's an average work week look like? And my research showed me your average German generally works between 36 and 40 hours a week. And like the data I saw I was getting for America that it's also like around 35 or 36. But I'm really skeptical of this. Just again, based on my own life experience and humans I know. Because, like, in America, it's an estimated something like 7.8, almost 8% of all workers have, like, a second job. So I feel like I'm just skeptical of that figure. I feel like every time I found that the average U.S. worker works 35 hours a week, I feel like they're quoting what your average full-time job is. But I feel like that can't, it can't seriously be taken into consideration the amount of Americans that have like multiple jobs just to pay their bills and be able to afford health insurance and such. You know, there was a study they did in 2018 that found out that um, these uh, almost 8% of Americans that uh, end up having at least two jobs, that that second job made up approximately 28% of all of their income. I'm just saying in my own experience, when I lived in America as a single mom working full-time at a car dealership, 
I definitely had to pick up uh, several jobs, and I would dare say majority of my friends had multiple jobs. A lot of those minimum wage or barely above minimum wage paying jobs. So for whatever that's worth. But something else that really blew my mind as an American moving to Germany is when you start talking about things like vacation days, paid vacation days. Now, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but in Germany, I believe federally, if you have a five day work week, you're looking at 20 paid vacation days and then there's federally ordered 10 paid public vacation days and together you're looking at having 30 paid days off for a five day work week. And I feel it's important to mention to any American viewers, yes, yes, if you start a crappy minimum wage job here, but it's full time. A good example is we, we got like McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I don't know what they're paying here right now, but they have to abide by the same federal laws. So regardless of your minimum wage or whatever, if you're working those days, those hours, you're going to get paid vacation days. In America, Federally speaking, your employer, minimum wage or not, full time or not, he doesn't have to give you jack shit. That's right. Five day work week in Germany, 20 days off, 10 paid uh, vacation days, public holidays, if you will. In America, five day work week, <laughs> paid vacation, public holidays, paid, you know, you'll be lucky if you get them off and... Uh, that employer is going to throw at you whatever the hell he wants, if anything. I once worked at a car dealership that required you to work two years full time before you got one week paid. That was in the late 90s, Eastern Pennsylvania. It's unheard of here in Germany. Another thing that really perturbs me, if you will, when I look at this kind of data, when I look at this topic, you know, a minimum wage worker in America is most likely going to be living near a poverty level and or work multiple jobs to just to get by. And I would dare say, as it stands at the moment and as it has been for way too long and as it was when I was there, a whole lot of them cannot afford health insurance. I mentioned that job I had at that car dealership. My employer paid a small part of health insurance for me. I paid a small part of that and there was no room, nothing offered for my child that I had. Here in Germany, your employer is, I believe, always going to cover 50% of your health care, at least. The fine details, the numbers, the percentages aside, based on my own experience here living in Germany since 2001. No matter how horrible the job was that I had, no matter how low the pay was, no matter how few hours I worked, I was always able to go to a doctor. You see, the way the social system is set up here in Germany, if you can't afford health care, let's say you end up working um, some really low paying job and for a variety of reasons and things that can happen in life, you can't take on another one and you're just not making enough to get by. The government here has many programs that will help you and health insurance is something everybody here needs to have. It's a right, America. And in America, when you work, let's just say, a lower level job, a minimum wage paying job, again, often in like the food industry, but not limited to like cleaners and such. You getting sick is a liability. It's a threat. It's a threat to you losing your job. You taking a day off to go to a doctor is both going to cost you cash to pay that doctor to see him, but it's also going to cost you that day of work. Some companies give you like sick days. I remember this. It's such a strange concept that you're living so long in Germany. But I remember like they, they give you like four sick days, I think was what that dealership did that I worked for, where, where they will compensate you for being sick. But it's again, it's not federally, federally regulated. Employers can do whatever the hell they want. They don't have to give you anything. And even worse, even worse, your boss in America could no problem say, look, uh, this guy calls out way too often, he's sick way too often, um, you're fired. And here in Germany, they have quite a few protections um, against that happening so easily, I'll say. 
And again, I mean, all the data, all the numbers, statistics, how it works in the world in various countries, you can look that stuff up online. But my own personal experience, I had those jobs where the bosses made it really clear you're replaceable and they will let you go if you don't come in enough. They don't care that you got cancer or brain tumor. Capitalism, money comes first, not humans. And it's so crazy for me to like reflect on how normal it was when I was there. And now 20 years in Germany, I'm angry. After spending time in Germany, which isn't perfect, but they seem to work a little bit harder at giving some respect to the worker, the people that actually keep countries running. And man, it just seems in my perspective, the, the American system, it's, it's created and running in a way that just keeps people at that level and it keeps them at being essentially just disposable, I want to say workers, but I don't feel like they're being treated like humans. I'm just saying, if we're talking Germany versus the U.S., my opinion, Germany wins. Because Germany versus U.S., minimum wage worker. Minimum wage worker in Germany is always paid more, and there's an organized commission looking out for them, looking at the numbers and what's appropriate. In America, it's all kind of loosey-goosey, and they let some states get away with paying like two-something an hour to humans. No time off of work. They can't go to a doctor either. The whole thing with tipping is sick. That needs to end. You know, I see a lot of videos about Americans that come to Germany and they're all like, oh wow, we don't have to give tips to the waiters or the waitresses. Or I see other people making videos like Americans in Germany and they're like telling people just how great, you know, you don't have to tip the waiters and waitresses. Honestly, in my opinion, when we make these videos and we talk about that, we need to make it damn clear it's because Germany treats their workers like human beings and is trying to provide them a living wage. In my opinion, what's going on in America with people that get tipping jobs is flat out abusive. And it's, I'm sorry, it's some third world shit. Richest country in the world? Is it quite possibly because you don't seem to give a damn about your people? Rather than taking care of them, you have a elite few, a small percentage of people hoarding all of the cash. And the ones that do the actual labor, the ones that break their back, bringing in the cash that makes those CEOs sitting in their little offices rich, America treats them like they're disposable. Whereas I feel like Germany here understands, like they've, they've organized a system. I've seen it every time like I went sick and like I was amazed that while I was sick and I was unable to work, the, the government here would send me to like a rehabilitation clinic and I would think like, why do I deserve this? And like, how much money is being spent there? And I've had multiple Germans explain to me, Armstrong, when you're being sent, for example, to one of these clinics, that you are at that point are giving all those people in that clinic a job. They are also paying taxes and never forget the ultimate goal here. I've had so many doctors explain it to me this way and I think it's beautiful. The ultimate goal here is to get you fit back in shape so you also can contribute back into the system. Germany has figured out that I as a human am worth that time, effort, money, medical care, and yeah, I would include days off, vacation days. America is working its humans to the bone. I think Americans really don't realize just how bad they got it in the way of time off. I mean, I know they feel it, but compared to the rest of the Western world, I feel like other nations acknowledge that the human body needs rest. I mean, come on, let's be honest. Uh, people in charge in America, they know that too. But their wallets are getting stuffed by big, big companies that just want to use people to make more money while paying them a minimum wage. And again, I repeat, while one family sits on billions and has multiple houses, the masses get the bare minimum, as well as have the harder life. You know, when I sit and think about like minimum wage jobs that I've taken, I have to say at this point in my life, I don't think I would take another one ever again. This is just my opinion, but I think like the only 
reason that I would be maybe provoked to maybe consider taking a job at a minimum wage. And maybe that sounds arrogant as somebody that doesn't hold any kind of a college degree. But I have to say that there's very few situations where I would accept that. Um, there would have to be, for me, a clear possibility, for example, of promotion within that company within the first year. Like, the possibility of that better be verbalized and written down. And, or this would have to be a company or a product or a type of job that I'm really passionate about. Then I would consider starting at a minimum wage. But if I'm dead honest with you, I really think that we workers, we all need to unite in one simple way. And that is know your value. Know your value as a worker, not your value as a piece of paper that some school said. When you apply to a job that you know you could do, you could do well, and that you would give your best, show up, and do the right things, walk in there with your head held high and know that. I kind of wish more people would sort of take a policy of, you pay me a minimum wage, you're going to get from me my minimum effort. I've been to job interviews, you see, where like companies will boast, like they'll say something, for example, oh, you know, minimum wage is nine euros 60, but we actually start at nine euros 70. They boast, they present it as it's something to boast about in a job interview when essentially they should be selling me on why I should work for this company. And the next time a company does this to you, when the next time a company says to you, minimum wage is seven dollars and 25 cents but actually we start at seven dollars and 35 cents i wish more people would look back at them and say so what you're saying is if you paid me just a few cents less it would be illegal an illegal wage so you're literally a few cents above an illegal wage Seriously. Yeah, I feel like that's a good way to sum this up. Know your value. We the workers are a lot more than a few douchebag CEOs. And if we all would treat minimum wage or just above minimum wage the same, they would have to change. Know your value. You're worth something. They need you. Isn't it strange how America likes to boast about being one of the richest nations in the world while treating a whole lot of their people like garbage? Like, can you imagine you had a rich neighbor, a guy in a mansion next door, drove all kinds of Porsches, but every time you looked into his yard, his kids were hungry and dirty? America. I mean, like, sure, here in Germany, we, we got a whole lot less millionaires. Do you know what else we got a whole lot less of? We got a whole lot less poverty and ghettos compared to where I'm from in America. It's not perfect here, but it's, <laughs> I think it's clear my life is definitely a lot better living in Germany. And I think what I admire most is um, just the organization. Like these Germans are very detailed and they love to make rules on top of rules and laws on top of laws and study things to no end, study the data. And as much as I can't wrap my head around it or even fully understand all of it, I have a lot of uh, respect for it. And just, I feel really good just knowing that this country does at least pay some attention to Poor people and people that end up in shit jobs and their health and well-being, you know, their, their, their ability to go to a doctor and their right to have some time off to rest their body. Please do feel free to let me know your opinions, your details, your fun facts down below in the comments. I'd appreciate it also if you threw me a like and if you want to support this channel, you can click the join button. But I do appreciate you joining me here today and listening to me rant and babble about minimum wage, Mindestlohn. I think it's pretty clear if I'm doing Germany versus America, Germany wins. Just my opinion. Germany wins, hands down. America treats minimum wage workers like garbage. And with all that said, um, until I come at you again with another video, I do hope you take care of yourself.